welcome. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, hello, my name is Jonas Matson. Uh, I'm 28 years old and I currently live in Warsaw, Poland. But I've been working in the industry for about six years in England for most of those years. And like mostly like PlayStation home spaces like Uncharted, Infamous, and you know that kind of stuff. But I also I worked on a Kinect title and a LucasArts title. Unfortunately, that was cancelled. But you know, experience is good. And I'm currently working at CD Projekt Red in Warsaw. And we just released The Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition for the Xbox 360, which is also available for uh, PC users. So that's where I am right now. And what's your job title? What's your position? I am a level artist. Uh, it basically what I'm doing is I'm creating environment props, uh, you know, buildings, trees, <laughs> benches, tables, that kind of things. Everything except for the characters. And I'm also working on uh, setting up in our in-house tool, the Red Red Engine. Uh, so it's a little bit technical these days. So, but it's good, it's good. I really enjoy it. Do you inter interact a lot with other disciplines, like programmers? All the time. Because as an artist, you need to ask for things from the programmers to make it work, for like new technology and, you know, it, and for designers. We, we come to designers and ask, can we do this? Is this possible? Or they, most of the time, come to us and say, oh, we would like to do this. And we go, okay, I think we know how to do it. And we go to the programmer, you know, it's a, a lot of mixtures. It's you know you have your discipline, you have your area of expertise, uh, your team. But you know there's a lot of interaction between the teams. There has to be good communication. So you have anything to say about the project and how it's uh, how you how you make it? Um, well, when you start the project, you you um, first you need the tools to be able to know what you're able to do. So you kind of go with a, <laughs> we call it a wish list to the programmers, and you go, hey, I would like to have this. Is this possible to have? Um, can I please have it? <laughs> Pretty please? And uh, so, sometimes they say no, and sometimes they scream at you. But most of the time, they go, OK, we'll try it. We'll try to make something out of it. Um, and from there, you kind of move on. You have the technology, and you work with the quest designers, and you work with the uh, like the, the script designers, and what they want. Because we we create according to their vision, like how they imagine the scenario. Because in an RPG game, you have to you know work with this heavily uh, relying on the story. So you have to you know work with the story guys. So yeah, that's kind of it. And then you. You do it, uh, which is simplifying it a lot. And then towards the end, there's a lot of bug fixing and fixing bugs and tweaking. But you know, our work doesn't stop there uh, because we release patches and fixes and stuff. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, the games industry is said to be a very fast-changing industry. Uh, how has that affected you and your job? And what do you do to keep up? Oh. Um, well, you just have to keep up with all, uh, all new technology. You have to, like, something new out, like some new awesome game tech videos, check it out straight away. You go to GDC or, like, this, uh, the NGC, and you, you have to connect, you have to check what's out there. I mean, I know some people, like, they focus and they become in this cave thing, but it's really, really important to keep up with technology and keep up with new ideas new ways of um, making games. It's so important. Um, and yeah, just keep, keep yourself updated, really. Just check what's out there all the time. What's new title? What, what are they doing that's good? What are they doing that's bad? What can we do that's better than that? What would you say is the best part about your job? It's different every day. Every day is different, really. Yeah, well, you, you know, I'm an artist. You can break it down like, oh yeah, I'm modeling, I'm texturing, and I'm putting in a level. But it's different. I'm making something different every day. You know, someday I could be doing something purely technical. Or I can be fixing some bugs, or I can be researching. I could be like trying out new co cool technology. We can. Every day is different, really. I mean, it's a high-pressure job. Uh, it demands a lot from you, but the reward 
is great. I can't imagine myself doing anything else, really. I still love it after six years. Still love it. What inspired you to get into game development? There's, there's an old school game called Monkey Island and I loved it ever since I was a kid. I still love it. And it's just the idea of the storytelling and the humor of it. And later on I was playing Final Fantasy VII. When that came out, I was like, oh my god, 3D, <gasps> that's amazing, I want to do that, you know, and that kind of got the idea in my head, and later on, I was just finishing my um, army service, and I thought, what to do with my life, and I always, I was really interested, like, in the creative part, to be a part of something that delivers an experience, and I wanted to, you know, I, I, I applied to a, uh, to a game education and got in and it's the best thing I've ever done really changed my life really and yeah it was great great inspiration those early games truly just the, the way you can make someone happy if you make one person happy with your game make them like wow this is awesome then it's all worth it really in my opinion what would you f what was your first real job in the game industry junior environment artist at Free Radical Design, a studio that doesn't exist anymore. Um, yeah, it was <laughs> working on this LucasArts title, and it was so uh, so stressful at the beginning. I, you know, <gasps> real real job in the games industry, but you know, you get some you get some good people helping out. You know, people in this industry they're they're generally very good-hearted, and you know they're because it takes a lot. And you know you want new people to come into the industry, so you, 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 I felt really well taken care of. And uh, yeah, that was my first real job. Uh, do you have any final advice for aspiring game developers? Stick with it. It's hard. It's really hard. And sometimes you think, mm, is it too hard? But stick with it. It's really rewarding. And when you see people come up to you, go, "Wow, I, I love it, man!" It's it's the I can't swear but I will say it's awesome um, you just feel really good and it's it's worth all the hard work really and the fact that you can get paid to do art and you work with such great people I, I mean there's nothing else like it really it's quite unique well thank you thank you